Hello. Hola, hola. Good evening. Good Hello, hello, hello. Well, today we are going to finish with number two. Hoy finalizamos la semana número dos. Estamos a la mitad. Es decir, es el 50% del módulo. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Lamentablemente no estamos teniendo el 100% de las asistencias, como ya se les Dejo un mensaje por ahí, esperando que de aquí hacia adelante, pues, hagamos el esfuerzo de, de, de poder conectarnos para poder aprobar el módulo.
Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, let us start now. I'm going to check out the attendance. Okay, hold on a second, please. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go.
Y me aparece como usuario de Zoom. Acá estoy, teacher. Ay, Alejandra. Sorry. Ah, ok. Ok, Alejandra, Elizabeth. Alejandra Elizabeth. Good evening, teacher. Ah, ¿Qué es lo que parece? Sí. Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Osalia. Present teacher. Brenda Ivet. Present teacher. Okay. Natalie. Natalie. Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, don Alejandro. Diana Yamilet. Diana Yamilet. See here. Edith. Edith. Hello, Edith. Are you there? Say hello. Emerson. I hear teacher. Okay. Francisco. Present. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ismael Ernesto. José Alejandro. I hear, teacher. Julia Janet. Mayra. Okay, Sandra y Beth. Sonia. Present teacher. Ah, está, está. Okay. Okay, we are going to continue with um, the week two of module two. And we are going to start with an activity. No escribiste la muchacha. Oh. 
Uy, me estoy agarrando la pálida. Sí, que se va a Sí. Sí, me va a Okay, I'm going to share with you a link in order that you open it. And every one of you is going to select the right answer. Later on, what you can do is share uh, your score in this chat. Tan pronto finalice, puede compartir su score, su puntaje. Let us start making a review related with the frequency after. ¿Sí pudieron abrirlo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Read carefully. Lea cuidadosamente, por favor. you are doing is this.
As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Tan pronto finalice, por favor, me lo aviso. I finish. Okay. You can share your score if you want in the group. And what's that? Mm, you can do it in this chat. Ah, ya lo, ya lo puse. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. We are going to wake a little bit in order that the rest can finish. And later on, we are going to resolve together here. Esperaremos que los demás terminen. Luego lo resolvemos acá juntos. Por si alguien tenía una duda. Okay, let us start if you want. Later we saw on uh, this one, how liver and Bradley. Somebody wants to tell me the percentage of it. What I'm going to do is just to click in the in the answer that you choose. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you five percent? Five percent? Yeah, five percent. Okay, I'm going to click by. Okay, perfect. Always somebody else, please. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay, okay, and I tell you, let us see, let us see if your answer is right. 100%, okay. Somebody else? Fixing. Fixing teacher. 50%? 50? Sí, fixed integer. Ok. What about this one? Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, only the one that is going to answer, open the microphone, please. Okay, I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting. Usually, 
Tell me the percent. It is ninety percent. Nine percent. It is ninety percent. Ninety. Six. Yes. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Problem with number. Nine, ninety, ninety percent. Okay. Ninety. Okay. Nice. Hey. This is difficult. Difficult. Okay, I'm going to choose someone. Zero. Okay. Zero. Zero percent of the time. Tenemos mucha interferencia ahí, don Alejandro. No sé qué está pasando. Hay que, hay que revisar qué es lo que está sucediendo porque tenemos mucha interferencia. Ok, Saldon. 10%. 10%? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about this one? A cash in our eighty percent. Yes. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Sí, ya no nos sacamos 10. Perdón. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Ok, normally. Eight. Okay. Normally, generally. 80%. Excuse me? 80%. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 70 or 30%? 80. 80%. Okay, cross your finger, cross your finger. Crucen los dedos. Okay. Often. Frequently. Sí. Ay, se me sale eso. 70 or 30. 70. Seven. 70. Which one? 70, yes. This one? Or this one? 70. Okay, that is the, that is the, the, for example, here, this is seven, 70, 70 or 70, if you want to say that in that way, because, if, yeah, if you, if you say seven, you are not including the, the zero, zero number right here, 70 or 70 is there. Okay. Which one is the right one? Which one? This one? How, how do you pronounce this number? ¿Cómo pronunciamos este número? I already told you. I already Zero. Zero? No, no, no. I'm talking about the, this. Seven. 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 Solo, 70. Me, solo me están pronunciando el primer número, no la cantidad que es. Seven. Seven es siete. Seventeen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Los seventy es diecisiete. Seventy. 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 Ok, ya, ya les encontré dónde está la falla de San Andrés. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Ok, ok. Mejor eso me da luces para reforzar eso. This is 70. 70. 70. 70 or 70, if you want to say in that way. And then, 70, teacher, but then no, 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 pero también hay algunas personas que lo pronuncian 70. Entonces, ambas son correctas. Acordémonos que las decenas terminan en T, desde el 20 al 90. Yes. Y las eh, que... Desde el número 13 al 19 terminan en tin. Para que no nos dé problema eso, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind. We got nine. Ok, at the moment that you uh, did, do you, do you remember the, your score? Veamos si compartieron su score aquí. Yes, ok, nueve tiene el top sí. Veamos quién más lo mandó. Mayra. Eh, ¿Quién más? Eh, los demás. Hello, recién estoy ingresando. ¿Podrían por favor compartirme el link de la actividad que están realizando? Uh, I'm sorry, Julia. Estaba compartiendo pantalla, no pude hacerlo, pero tal vez más vale tarde que nunca se lo dejo por aquí. Aunque alguien más... Creo... Igual lo hice, teacher, pero no lo tomé captura. Alguien creo que ya se lo había compartido, ¿no? Sí, teacher, sí me lo compartieron, gracias. Ok, I'm sorry, I'm just really sorry about that. Sí, gracias. Ok. ¿Ah? I'm thinking about, about your score and at the same time, cause we are having problem with numbers. Okay, let me see, what, what can I do? Okay, let me try this. Okay, I'm going to spin the wheel and you are going to tell me the numbers. Veamos, hagamos un repaso para ver si estamos bien en números. Comienzo con Don José Alejandro Cruz. How do you say? Estamos, teacher. How do you say the number? Ready? How do you say the number? ¿Cómo me dice ese número en inglés? Uh, 195. Okay, bingo, perfect. Choose Thank someone. you, teacher. Okay, choose one of your classmates. Just mention the name. Elige un compañero. Uh, Diana Yamilet. Okay, here we go, Diana. This is your. Tell me. Microphone, 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 please. Okay. Hello? Uh, Hyundai 5 no. Sería. No, sería. One hundred. One. One. 
Aquí ya no es five, sino sería fifty. Cinco. Sí. Ah. Fifty one. Cincuenta. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Fifty one. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Choose someone. Choose someone. Elige a alguien, por favor. Um, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Okay, teacher. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is here. Pretty easy. Pretty easy for you. Pretty easy. One <laughs> hundred. Okay. Thank you. Choose someone. Really hard, you go for. Voy, teacher, voy. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Permítame. A mi tocaya. A Brenda, eh, pero se me olvida el otro nombre. No sé si está. No, no está. Brenda, Natalie, no, no está. No, no está. No está. No está. No está. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Eh, Ale Murillo. No sé si ya pasó. Alejandro Murillo. Okay. Here we go, Ale. 101. Ok. Choose someone, choose someone. Ismael. Ismael, Ismael. Ismael. Okay, is one hundred ten. One hundred ten, okay, perfect. Choose on one, choose on one. Uh, um, Ingrid. Ingrid. Okay, it's one hundred eighteen. One hundred eighteen. Okay, thank you. Choose someone, please. Asalia. Asalia. One hundred thirty. One hundred thirty. Okay. Thank you. To someone. Emerson. Okay, Emerson. Okay, okay. Okay, say it, say it. Escucha, sí. Okay, repeat. De hecho, eso ya lo dijeron. Eh, si okay. quieres, dije otro. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to. Okay. Put away, put away. Okay, here we go. Sería 167. Ok, 167. Thank you. Choose the last okay. one for this activity. Elige el último, por favor. Because we are okay. going to move to another activities. Ok. Eh, is... um... Ana Victoria. Victory, victory. Thank 
184. 184, okay. 184. Okay, thank you. Later on, maybe we are going to continue practicing uh, numbers. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let us continue with the following exercise. Okay, this one you are going to do it by yourself. Este si lo van a, a hacer ustedes solos. Okay, open it, please. Just double click on the link. Just let me know if you are able to open it. Teacher, sería el segundo link, porque yes, acaba yes. de mandar dos links. Okay. Yes, the last one. El último, el último. El que termina en 6, 7. Okay. Do it, do it, do it. It's really easy, really easy for you to do it.
Okay, did you finish? Not yet. Yes, teacher, I'm I am finished, teacher. Okay. What about the rest? What about the rest? In this is, um, Bueno, en España porque en este me fue mejor que en el otro. Y está bastante interesa interesante porque tiene unas pequeñas trampitas. <risa> most of, the, uh, most of the, the test, la mayoría de exámenes tienen eso. Le confieso que en el anterior lo hice como... ¿Qué? Unas cinco veces hasta que me salieran todos iguales, porque los porcentajes me cuesta memorizarme. Pero, Pero hoy, creo que, hoy sí ya, porque ya lo hice varias veces y sí, ya me de, salen todas correctas. Después de este ejercicio creo que sí ya debe alcanzar sí. más. Sí, sí, ahora sí ya más. Ok, perfecto. Pero si le digo que me fue mejor en este que en el anterior. Ah, ok, perfecto. What about the rest? Did you finish or not? Yes, I am finished. Edith, Alejandra, Julia, Francisco, Esmeralda, Azalia, Emerson. No, no, teacher. Soy de todavía la mitad. José Alejandro. I finished, teacher, pero solo me salieron buenas 19. Me fue un poco más. Ah. Creo que todavía me confundo en las que llevan y en las que no llevan ING. Ah, ok. Finis, He ahí el truco. He ahí el truco, teacher. <risa> Solo hice 23 de 28, teacher. ¿Y por qué? What happened? <risa> ah, me equivoqué en algunas. Pero ya vamos cerca ya. Getting close, getting close. Okay, let us resolve together. Let us see if we can uh we can resolve together. Okay, you already had the answer, right? Okay, for example, this one. No run, don't run in, or don't run. Which one is the right one? Don't, don't run. run. Okay, así en español. ¿Por qué no la A? ¿Por qué no la B? Chao. Eh, porque como es una imperativa, se da en el tiempo... En eh, el tiempo, no sé cómo se dice, en el tiempo sí. neutro, en el tiempo presente y okay. el y no el presente activo que sería don't running. Ok. Let Así no entiendo yo, pero no sé. Sí sabe, sí sabe. Ok, what about this one? Do homework, do your homework, don't do your homework. Do your homework. Okay, do your homework. Letter B, you said. Letter B, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, what about this one? Put your hand up before talking. Don't put your hand up before talking or put your hand down. Which one? Put, put your hand. Put your hand up. A. Your A. Put your hand up. Hand up before talking. Put your hand up before talking? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay. If you have a question, uh, let me know, please. Quien tenga una pregunta referente al item, me lo hace, por favor. What about this one? Do not walk on the grass. No, walk on the grass. Or walk on the grass. Do not walk on the grass. Letter? Letter A. a. Letter? A. a. Okay, letter A. Do not walk on the grass. Okay, let us see. Oh, okay, perfect. Don't using your model in class. No use model. Do not use your model in class. Which one? See, do not use your model in class. A, B, or C? C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Do not use your model in class. Okay, somebody tell, uh, somebody told me that got confused at the moment of using uh, IGNG. Ojo, a la hora de imperativas, Eh, justamente después de el, el auxiliar, por ejemplo, si es negativa, va la partícula y not y después va el Do not use your model in class, ok. Ok, what about this one? Done, put it, done. It's here or not here? Which one is the right one? Letter B. B. Let it be. Done it here. Done it here. Okay. Algunos de estos ustedes ya pueden irlos creando y poniéndolos por ahí por sus oficinas. In English. In English. Y entonces los demás compañeros se los van a aprender o usted se los va a de tanto estarlo viendo se lo aprende si, si no se lo sabe. Ok, what about this one? Drop litter here or don't drop litter on the floor or do not drop litter. Letter B, don't drop litter on the floor. Ok, don't, don't. T-shirt. Hello. Dis disculpe mi ignorancia. ¿Qué significa lo anterior? Drop litter. Tirar basura. Por el dibujito entiendo, pero no, a ciencias ciertas nunca le he traducido. Sí. Yo también tenía esa duda, teacher. Drop significa... Botar. Tirar algo, quitar algo incluso. Eh... Cuando estamos viendo la parte gramatical de cuando se usa, se le agrega S o A. Cuando se hace cambios de, por ejemplo, los verbos que terminan en Y para agregar ING, se dice entonces que para decir cambie la Y por una I y luego agregue, entonces usa DROP. But in this case, drop leader, eso es tirar basura. Okay, teacher, gracias. Teacher, leader es basura. Leader. Leader. Yes. Eh, 
y cuál es la diferencia con, bueno, yo había escuchado trash, o no sé si es basurero. <risa> sí, trash, trash viene del trash, sí, trash can. Eh, son, son algunas palabras, por ejemplo, eso en size, eh, o sea, en, en cuestiones de, de rótulos en las calles, es muy común este, el, el ver eso. Y eso no solamente significa tirar basura, sino que no ensuciar, eh, no, no poner en desorden el ambiente donde está ese rótulo. En algunos, eh, los he visto cuando he ido manejando en otro país y, y ahí solo dice, do not litter, así. No dice drop, sino que es, o solo dice not littering. He visto varios de esos, sí. Ok, what about this? Do not smoke here or do not smoke. Or don't smoke. Smoking or must be word. Which one? Don't know smoking. Do not smoke here. Letter A. Ok, A or C? Tell me. A. Hey. 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 Ah, okay. Do not, smoke, Do not here. smoke here. Do not smoke here. Yes. Okay, perfect. Me dice Esmeralda. Teacher, perdón, en esa que acaban de pasar, según lo que dijo la compañera, es eh, eh, el, el a los verbos que se les está agregando ING están mal. Porque se, son acciones del momento. ¿Cómo fue? Así fue, ¿verdad? A los verbos inter, imperativos. Es, okay. es que yo lo entiendo a que como están en presente continuo, no aplica para hacer una orden. Así lo entiendo. ¿sí? Es que a mí me genera la duda porque, bueno, yo cuando he ido en el bus, muchas veces veo ese, Donald Smoking. Entonces, no sé. Sí, uh, what happened here is the, is the following. La forma más es correcta. Como decir, no esté fumando. Quizá. Sí, do not smoke here. Aquí, aquí dice, no fume, no fume aquí. Sí. Ahora, lo que sucede es que la gente cuando ve la negación y ve la palabra smoking inmediatamente... Asimila el mensaje. Es una forma coloquial. ¿Me comprende? Sí. Ok. What about this? Now washing your hand. Wash your hand before eating. Or don't wash your hand before eating. Little B. Wash your hands before eating. Ok, aquí es diferente. Porque mire dónde va el, 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 el ING. Ese eating aquí está significando qué. Después de comer. No, antes de comer tienen que lavarse la, las manos. Ok, antes de comer. Entonces no tendría sentido esta que dice no watching. ¿Sí? O don't no watch. O oh, don't wash your hand before eating. No se lave las manos. Okay. Sit down. Do not stand up or stand up. Which one? According according to the according to letter C teacher. Letter C. Letter C. Stand up. Letter C. Stand up, stand up. Okay, open your books. Close your books. Do not open your books. Open your open book, your teacher. Books. Okay, you need to take a look at this error that we have here. Yeah. 
Okay, don't take photos here. Do not take in photo or take photos. Which one? Don't take photo here. Yeah, okay. it has, has to do with the with the picture that we, with the sign with that we have here. Nos vamos a de acuerdo al símbolo que esté aquí, lo que vamos a elegir acá. Entonces hay una negación. Don't. Yes, don't take photos here. Yeah. Okay, hanging up your jacket. Hang up your jacket or don't hang up your jacket. Letter B. 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 Hang up your jacket. Okay. Letter B. ¿Por qué no letter C o letter A? Veamos. ¿Por qué letter no? C es negación. Sí. No cuelgue su jacket. Además de y... ser negación, ¿qué pasa ahí? No está bien escrito. No está bien escrito. Something is missing. El letter, no está bien escrito. El letter is missing. Una palabra, una, una, una letra hace falta. Yes. Sí. En yes. letter A, sí. what happened there? Por, ser, por estar en el presente activo. Sí, en ese caso, eh, no aplica simple y sencillamente porque uh, we have it with ING at, at the beginning, right? Okay. And we are going to check the last one porque son bastantes. Okay, open your books. De nuevo. Yeah, yeah, we, we got this one. Let me see what's happening here. Okay, open the door, close the window, or close your book. Sí. Close your book. Sí. Close your book. Close your book, okay. How about this one? Come to the ball, clean the ball. Do not clean the ball. Clean the ball. Clean the ball. Clean the ball. Okay, what about this one? To right, to left, don't to right. To right. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. A la derecha. Okay. Cross only in red line. Cross only on red light or don't cross or cross only on green light. Which cross only on green light. Cross only green light. Little C. Little C. Aunque hay quienes cruzan hasta en rojo, pero eso no, es por, no debe de ser. <laughs> Okay, um, close the window, don't close the window, or open the window. Open the window, teacher. Okay, because we have right here this error. Y la última que vamos a revisar va a ser la 20, porque sí, son bastante. Repeat after me, don't repeat after me, not repeating after me. Which one? Repeat after me. me. Repeat after, after me. After me. Oh. Repeat after okay. me. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop here. Yo sé que querían verlas todas, pero necesitamos hacer otras actividades. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. 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 Okay, now uh, we are going to read, we are going to make a review about a reading that we have on page number 24 in our material. I'm going to share it with you, but if you can find it on the on page number 24, ustedes lo pueden encontrar en la página 24, the material. Okay, I got it here, reading. 
Okay. Cerremos micrófono, por favor. Ahorita no los ocupamos. Okay. Read about Mr. Wilson and check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Lea acerca del señor Wilson. Corrija las oraciones o, o revise las oraciones y corrija las que no están bien. Ok, I'm going to read. Lo tengo así de pequeño para que de una vez podamos ver uh, las preguntas y no estar haciendo scroll. But if for someone is really difficult to see it, I can get bigger. Pero si para alguien le es difícil ver eh, así ese tamaño, lo puedo hacer más grande. Just let me know if you want that I do that for you. Solo me dicen si, si necesitan que, que sí lo haga más grande. O está bien así. It is okay for you or not? Yes. Yes or not? Tell me. Pregunto, lo tengo en ese tamaño para no estar moviendo hasta las preguntas o lo que vamos a resolver en este caso, a corregir las oraciones, no preguntas. I'm sorry. ¿Lo pueden ver así o es necesario que lo haga más grande? Así lo podemos ver, teacher. Ok, ok, thank you. I'm going to read it. Lo, lo voy a leer. And then uh, some of you are going to read it. And later on, we are going to check up the, the sentences. Okay, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an in a office. In an office, okay? I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We had to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we had to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay. Question about the reading? Lo he leído despacio. Before to resolve the, the exercise, some of you can read this paragraph. If any, anybody wants to do it, okay, let us start resolving from one to seven. Si nadie quiere leer, bueno, hagan lectura comprensiva y... Yes, teacher. Okay. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Anybody? Okay, I'm yes. going to read again. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Todo, teacher? Todo? Yeah, it is, it is in, okay. um, in order that Hello. you practice reading. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an, in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails. For the company, I always answer the phone, the phone, and talk to potential employees. General, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in in the afternoon. In my company, we all we always have events. We have to attend a conference. On July 21, is it no? 21st. 21st. And then or, we or have or. to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Okay. 
Okay. I am always busy. Okay. Generalmente acá se usan eh, para este tipo de fechas los ordinal numbers. Ah, uh, Específicamente aquí will be 21st, 22nd, 23rd. De ahí para allá van con TH, 24th, 25th, and, and so on. Thank you. Okay, you can start resolving uh, this exercise if you want. Okay, remember the first thing that you need to do is check the correct sentence. Right here, you can put uh, the one that is correct. You can put a C. And if one of these is wrong, you can put a W. Si está correcta, le puedes poner una C. Y si está. Con It's error, correct. le Number pones una, una W y la que esté mala se transcribe, se escribe bien acá. Okay, try to do it. If you want, you can make an, uh, take a, an a screenshot or maybe you can, uh, you, you have it in your material there too. Okay, let me know in order to stop sharing. Okay. Somebody else wants to read? Alguien más quiere leer? Come on, I need that you practice reading. Me, teacher. Okay, okay, smile. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, thank you. You can start uh, resolving the exercise. Somebody who wants to read Alguien más quiere leer? No? Mi teacher. Ok. Leo mal, pero voy a practicar. <laughs> Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phones and talk to the potential employers. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon in my company. We always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 25th and um, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always bus. Okay. Okay, thank you.
somebody else wants to do it. Me, teacher. Okay, okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check, I check my email, my email for the company. I always answer the font and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 20, 22. Uh, I, I am always busy. Okay. Teacher, lo leo. Okay, do it, sir, do it. Oh, hay tiempo todavía o vamos para otra? Okay, do it, do it. You are going to be the last because ah, okay. we need to resolve that. Okay, <laughs> okay do it, do it. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phones and talk on the potential employers. General, I am at 10 minutes in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. I am my company. We always was even. We have to attend conference on you and Julie uh, 20, 21st. And then we had to attend a meeting about the conference on Julie 22 second. I am always busy. Oh, well, busy, busy. Okay, let us show you number one. Thanks. Okay, for you, for you, it is right or wrong? His name is John Wilson. It's right or wrong? Okay, I'm talking about the first one. It's wrong. Okay. It's, it's wrong. wrong. Okay, it, it is wrong. What do you want to do? His name is John Wilson. Ah, okay, Wilson. Okay, number two. He writes before every day. It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay. He checks he checks emails every day. Ah, check email every day. Okay, okay. Uh number three. It's wrong. He never answered the phone and talked to the customer. He always answers the phone. Ah, he always answers the phone, okay. Number four. It's true. He often attend meeting in the morning. It's true, Fisha. It is true or false? False. Okay. 
okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, you need to be sure. Necesitan estar seguros ahí, por eso les he puesto los dos textos. Ahí está el, el, el I'm, I'm sorry, el, está el texto y está el ejercicio. Number four, he often attend meeting in the morning. Yes, teacher. I attend meeting in the morning. Right. Okay, pero será often o será qué? Generally. <laughs> Okay, number five. He never attend meeting in the afternoon. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. He never attend meeting in the afternoon. Okay, not so often in the afternoon. Okay, okay. Number six. He usually has events in his company. It's true. Tell me. It's true, Tisha. It is true? Yes. Okay, and number seven? It's false. He has to go to the conference on July 22nd. It's false. Which uh, how is the right way? ¿Cómo sería lo correcto? Um, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 21st. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. Let's go to conference July 22nd. It is a conference or it is a meeting? It is a meeting. Okay, you need to read carefully. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, we have to have. Okay, hold on a second. Let me make a switch. Vamos a hacer un cambio. Okay, you are going to do this. Every one of you have to do this. Cada uno de ustedes lo va a hacer. Okay, double click on this link, please. This is some reading comprehension. Y lo bueno que acá solo no van a escribir, solo van a elegir su respuesta y luego... As soon as you finish, you are going to click on donde dice terminado para, para ver realmente qué fue lo que pasó ahí. Al nomás abran a uh, esta parte, tienen que desplegarse hasta encontrar la parte donde dice Quiz 2, Reading Comprehension.
Okay.
finish. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Okay, what about if somebody read it? Before uh, see the result. Antes de ver los resultados. Okay, let's, let us see if we can read it. Okay, I'm going to read it. Read and answer questions. Okay, so, apaguemos micrófono, por favor, si no lo estamos usando. Okay, I'm going to read it. Read and answer question. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She looks after six people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. No, 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 I'm sorry. She takes, she takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. Then she helps the doctors. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at five o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then she watches TV at 10 o'clock. She goes to bed. Okay, ahí está. Lo que usted tuvo que haber leído, ¿cierto? Any question about the reading? <clears throat> no? Okay, tell me about the result. Repeat, please. Misha. Ok, cuénteme cómo, cómo salió el resultado. I am. Resultar. Nine t-shirt. 
of ten. Ninety percent. Yes. Ah, okay. La última no me fallé, teacher. En la última falló. Yes, me confundí. Me confuse. Okay. okay, let me see which one is the last one. En la última decía that she go to bed at night. ¿Y cuál era la respuesta? Sería yes, she does or yes, no? Yes, she, she doesn't. Era yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes. Ah, ah, okay, 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 okay. It's confused. What about you, Don Alejandro? Hi, teacher. Share with us your result. Comparta cómo salió. Eh, ahorita en eso estoy, teacher. Ah. No, 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 Permítame. No, yo. O si llegó. Eh, todo lo tengo bueno. Ahí te lo mando la parte porque no me da la opción ok, you can check it out later on ahí lo puede revisar después ok um, Okay, we are going to go to page number 26. Nos movemos rapidito a la página número 26 de su material. I'm going to show you. Okay, you got it there. Uh, listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the pattern. Remember that we, uh, we are making this uh, an our review. Okay, take take a look at the conversation that we have there. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm going to read this conversation. Actually, I, I guess uh, you practice this one or not. Let me know. Ya la habíamos leído, Tisha. ¿Se recuerdan si hicimos esta conversación? Yes, sí, Tisha. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. What we are going to do, I guess, is going to be this one. Okay, let us move forward then. How to use have to and need to? We have some verb to express obligation or need. For example, had to and need to. The activity say prepare a document for my boss. But uh, this is going to take us so long time in order to do it for the reason okay. i guess it's going to be better if we work on activity number four write about something that you have to or need to do this day when what time and where okay try to work in this Exercise number four. At least you can write down three different situations. Al menos pueden, podemos escribir tres situaciones diferentes, ¿no? <coughs> Something that you have to or need to do these days. Okay. 
try to work on it, please. Okay, let us see what you have. When you are going just to tell me the date, date, what time and where.
Okay, who, who wants to share it? ¿Quién quiere compartirlo? Okay, thank you, Ana Victoria. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you, Mayra. To keep the camera on, you know. Alejandro is there too. Diana. Okay, thank you. Okay, who wants to share it? Las oraciones, teacher. ¿Hola? Las oraciones. A compartir I, las oraciones. Yes, but before that, let, let me... Let me do something else first. Okay, on page 28, en la página 28 de su material, you have a uh, activity for us uh, look up, look at both the tables and the calendars. Listen to the teacher and point at the number and month he or she calls out. Okay, but what I want to hear is that Maybe some of you have some data how to pronounce each month. We had January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. This is really important that you can learn it. And also I got something here that is uh, look like a calendar. Sunday, my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And also, you can choose one of these dates in order that you can uh, share with us the information that I ask you to do it. Okay, who wants to do it? Quien quiere hacerlo? Ya tenemos poco tiempo. At least three or four people. Tres o cuatro. Only see, only see. Me teacher. Okay, okay. Asana. When will you deliver the report? Okay. Um what time do you start working at your company? Where do you work? Okay. What else?
Okay, I, I don't know if I... Uh... explain you very clear this activity because that to say right about something you have to or need to do these days for example somebody uh can say tomorrow uh, okay that is uh when tomorrow tomorrow at seven o'clock i had to deliver Uh, a report in my boss office. Okay. And I include all the, the, the aspect, the title that I have there. Y ahí incluyo todos los encabezados que tengo en ese cuadro. Okay, no sé si me comprenden. Son cosas que yo tengo que hacer o que necesito hacer en estos días. Entonces, when, cuando, cuando tengo que hacerlo. ¿Sí? What time, a qué horas tengo que hacerlo. Eso es lo que, a eso se refiere. Cuando, Teacher. a qué horas, dónde. For example, somebody could say tomorrow at uh, nine o'clock, I need to see the doctor. Okay. Ahí estamos. Okay, tell me, Alejandro. Eh, puede ser. When do you have hours working? Uh, what times do you have to work? Uh, where do you have uh, your house? Okay, okay, okay. Lo que sucede es esto. Algunos comprendieron que lo que había que hacer eran preguntas. Y arriba dice que escriba algo que usted tiene o necesita que hacer en estos días. Ay. ¿Cuándo? ¿A qué horas y dónde? A eso se refiere. Teacher. Hello. I need to get out uh, for it in the morning. Okay, but when? When? Uh huh. Cuando? Uh, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Why is time to have? Ahí ya no va a mencionar, ya no va a mencionar la esto de arriba. Eh, solo sería what times? No, ya no mencioné eso. Los encabezados solo son para darle una idea. ¿Cuándo, a qué hora y dónde? Sería. Uh, aquí podría decir: Tomorrow morning, I have to. Y luego hacemos el complemento incluyendo el dónde, el lugar. I have to need early tomorrow. Okay, that is the main idea. Ok, antes de que se me vayan a retirar, recordarles que tenemos que hacer las actividades de la semana 2. Uh, estamos ya al 50%, estamos al 50% del módulo. Se da cuenta que el tiempo vuela así. Lamentablemente no, no tenemos el 100% de las asistencias. Siempre hay dos que tres que no, no asisten. But ellos han de tener algunas razones. 
in my case, I try to do my best in order that all of you can understand what I'm explaining and that you enjoy learning. So let me see the time. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if we have any questions so far from here. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, consulta. If not, I'm going to check out the attendance now. No, teacher. Okay. I like the class. Okay, okay. Okay, today you have a variety of uh, activities. Hoy, este día que hicimos el review, hemos tenido una variedad de actividades que yo creo que sí. Eh, a algunos les han ayudado bastante para poder eh, posesionarse de algunos temas que no estaban muy fijos. Eso espero. ¿Verdad? At least I hope that, that you enjoy it. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let me check up again the attendance. Okay, Alejandra. Say hello if you are there. Alejandra, Alejandra is not here. Okay, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Asalia. Present teacher, good night. Okay. Eh, Brenda Ibet. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda Natalie. Natalie Funes. No. Carlos Dimas. No apareció Carlos. Eh, Diana. Present teacher. Está Diana. Jamilet. Okay, thank you. Edith. Edith. Tengo ganas de una sopa china, man. Francisco Javier. Present. Okay, thank you. Still working, sir? No? Yes, this moment I, I am in my working. Oh, okay. You are in your job now. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Okay, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Smile Ernesto. Present Una teacher. Comiéndose la sopa china, teacher. Hola, hello. Una comiéndose la sopa china. Yes, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, Ingrid, is there, right? Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid. I don't see Ingrid. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. is there? Is listening? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ismael. Okay, Jose Alejandro. I hear teacher. Okay. Uh, Julia Janet. Present teacher. Ahí está, Julia Janet. Okay. Uh, Mayra. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Sandra Iber. I hear teacher. Apareció. <laughs> Apareció. Yes, teacher. Okay, you sound, you sound better. Your voice better. La vez anterior se sentía así como... Yes, teacher. I... I so so strong. I took a China food. Ah, China food. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Sonia? Present teacher. Okay. 
Let me see, only just one, two, how many people? Only two people did it. ¿Cuántas personas me faltaron hoy? Ok, en español y a colores. Uh, thank you, muchas gracias por estar acá. Eh, la verdad es de que estamos cerrando la segunda semana, es el 50%. Solamente tengo 14 personas. Hay cuatro que ellos sabrán los motivos por los cuales no están haciéndose presentes. El objetivo es que los 18 hubiesen culminado, como les dije al inicio de, eh, del módulo. Esto hay que hacerle frente. Siempre habrán, eh, vamos de lo más simple a lo complejo. Entonces, significa que a medida vamos avanzando, van a ir apareciendo a algunos temas, algunas palabras que van siendo complicadas, pero que lo que tenemos que hacer es práctica y práctica y práctica. Eso es lo más importante. Felicito a quienes eh, pues han estado muy activos y a quienes no, invitarles a que se incorporen. De la única manera que puedo yo ayudarles eh, es oyendo. Cuando ustedes eh, participan de una forma no directa, yo voy siempre tratando de corregirles. No les digo, mire, no diga así, eh, no, trato de leerlo. Y cuando yo lo leo, usted ahí rapidito capta y dice, ah, aquí tengo que, y ahí va anotando. De eso se trata. Así es que, por favor, tratemos de hacer todo lo que esté a nuestro alcance ya la próxima semana. Si alguien, como la, la recomendación que les dieron eh, de la parte administrativa, si alguien por algo de motivos, Sale tarde de su trabajo, eh, trate de mantenerse conectado al menos para que su tiempo le cuente, porque recuerde que su asistencia eh, cada día se va midiendo por el número de minutos que usted eh, se conecta. Entonces el sistema es bastante inteligente. Si alguien solo entró al inicio a pasar lista y él se sale, y él dice, ya tengo la lista, el sistema mide cuántos minutos permaneció dentro de. ¿Me comprenden? Ok, entonces así yes. funciona. Yes, así funciona, ok. Bueno, la asesoría para hoy le corresponde a Francisco, pero según lo que me dijo, está todavía en su trabajo. Así es que, Fran, eh, si tiene alguna pregunta, luego me la puede dejar en el chat. Supongo, ok, dicho. Supongo que si está en su trabajo a esta hora es porque todavía tiene bastante que resolver. Ok, teacher, está bien. Cualquier duda ahí se la hago saber. Hoy... Okay. Gracias. Ok. Happy weekend to all of you and I hope to see you next week. Good night and bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night. Tomorrow. Hey, everybody. See you, see Toma comida china. <laughs> <laughs>